Have you ever questioned if follow your passion is really the best career advice? Today, we're diving into the heart of So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. This insightful book boldly challenges the conventional wisdom of chasing passion to find the right job. Newport argues that this path is flawed, potentially leading us to a cycle of job hopping and self-doubt. Intrigued? Let's delve into the book to explore a more effective strategy for career satisfaction. The first key point the book introduces is the craftsman mindset. This mindset, as articulated by Cal Newport, is all about focusing not on what your job can offer you, but on what value you are able to produce in your job. It's a shift in perspective. Instead of seeking out jobs that cater to your supposed passions, you concentrate on honing your skills and delivering exceptional results. Newport illustrates this concept with compelling examples. Take the story of the guitar player who didn't start with a burning passion for music, but developed it over time by constantly improving his craft. Or the story of the software developer who found satisfaction not in the prestige of his job, but in the intricate problems he was able to solve. These narratives underscore the core idea of the craftsman mindset. It's not about finding the right job, it's about becoming right for the job. So instead of worrying about what your passion is, focus on becoming so good they can't ignore you. The next big idea from the book is the concept of career capital. Newport introduces this term to describe the accumulation of rare and valuable skills that you gain throughout your career journey. The more of this capital you acquire, the more leverage you have to shape your career in ways that align with your personal desires and values. Now this is a stark contrast to the passion mindset, which tends to focus more on what the job can offer you. The passion mindset serves to fulfill your immediate needs and wants, whereas the career capital mindset is a long-term game. It's about investing in yourself, developing your abilities, and growing your skill set. The beauty of career capital is that it doesn't just offer you options, it gives you the power to dictate your career path. When you're so good they can't ignore you, you're the one calling the shots. In other words, build up your career capital by honing your skills, and you can dictate the terms of your career. Following the acquisition of career capital, Newport emphasizes the importance of control. This chapter dives into the concept of control, painting it as a crucial cog in the wheel of a fulfilling career. Imagine having the reins of your professional life firmly in your hands, steering it in the direction you want. Sounds liberating, doesn't it? That's the power of control. Newport suggests that having control over what you do and how you do it can lead to great work. It's about being the master of your craft, dictating your pace and setting your standards. It's about making decisions that align with your values, rather than being a puppet to someone else's whims. But control doesn't just contribute to producing great work, it also fuels satisfaction and a sense of fulfillment. When you command your work, you're not just working, you're creating, innovating, and making a difference. That's a feeling money can't buy. Remember, control is a powerful motivator that can lead to a compelling career. So, what are the key takeaways from So Good They Can't Ignore You? Well, we've taken a deep dive into the captivating world of Cal Newport's wisdom. He clearly articulates that the conventional wisdom of following your passion might not be the best career advice. Instead, he offers us a more realistic and effective strategy. The Craftsman Mindset. This mindset encourages us to focus on honing our skills and becoming so good that no one can ignore us. It's not about what the world can offer us, but rather, what we can offer to the world. Then, there's the concept of career capital. It's the unique set of skills that you acquire through deliberate practice. It's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. It's about becoming a master of your craft, gaining rare and valuable skills that set you apart in the marketplace. And let's not forget the importance of control. Having autonomy in your career is crucial for job satisfaction. But remember, control that's acquired without career capital is not sustainable. So build up your career capital first, then leverage it to gain control over what you do and how you do it. In conclusion, these principles form the foundation of a fulfilling and successful career. It's a shift from simply seeking passion to creating value. So instead of asking yourself what your passion is, ask yourself what you can become exceptionally good at. That's the key to a fulfilling career.